There are four parts to the kennel door. We have the front mounting plate, has 16 holes in it. We have the reverse or back plate, which has six holes. We have the door cowl assembly. We have the locking pin. Okay, you want to attach the door cowl assembly to the front plate with the six machine bolts, lock washers, and nuts. You have three on this side, three on that side. The four up here will be uh, screws that will attach to the wood surface that you attach the door to. Now the uh, fastener should be snug but not fully tightened yet. Now you want to make sure that the door swings freely without striking the front plate. If the door makes contact with one side, you need to adjust by raising the other side of the cowl. Now this one here, uh, I've got it fixed so that it, it's striking over here. So that means that if it's going to hit on this side, I need to raise this side of the cowl. So I'm going to take a little hammer. You can use a hammer or a block of wood, whatever you want to use. Tap that up slightly. And now we have the door that it swings nice and free. Once that's done, then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to fully tighten these completely so it won't move. Now it's real important to keep the locking pin in the top two holes of the uh, cowl when not used to lock the door open or closed. The pin in the top position will prevent the door from becoming stuck open. If that pin is not there, this can go up here and get wedged between the two sides of the cowl. Uh, keep uh, the, the pin in the top position will prevent that from happening but if the door sticks open with the pin inserted the two sides of the rain shield, this one and this one, are adjusted in too close. So what you would want to do is you would want to loosen the three uh, bolts on each side, spread these out as far as possible and then retighten. Now this procedure for adjusting the door on the plate is the same that we use on the Dog Den 1, the Dog Den 2, the Dog Den 3, and the Canine Condo. Okay, I've got a mock-up wall here to attach the door to. This is 3 quarter inch plywood. A lot of dog houses uh, guys will uh, use a 3 quarter inch wall or T111 siding that they're going to put the kennel door on. My dog is a little over 26 inches at the uh, shoulder, so I came in here. I made a cut that my top cut is right at 27 inches above the surface. The uh, uh, opening is 14 inches wide and 16 inches tall. Once I've got that done, then I'm ready to go ahead and uh, attach the door cowl assembly with the plate to the surface of the wall. Okay, using uh, 10 Phillips head uh, screws, we're going to fasten the front plate and door cowl assembly to the uh, front side of the surface of attachment. I like to use a little bullet level, make a mark up here with a pencil so that I get a nice straight line so that I can attach this to the wall, get it nice and square, uh, just uh, like it ought to be. I'll turn this around so you can see what it looks like from the back side. Now this is before we put the, the back plate on it, but you'll see that the door, the door swings nice and free, and that's just what we're looking for. Next thing we're going to do is put the back plate on it. Using six of the Phillips head screws, attach the back plate to the opposite side of the front plate. Now if a closure panel is used, you want to align the holes on the two closure panel tracks with those of the kennel door's back plate. Here's one of the tracks right here. The, uh, attach uh, the closure panel tracks with the six screws provided to secure the back plate to the inside wall. Make sure that the door swings freely before tightening. Insert the closure panel into the tracks and then slide the panel up or, up or slide it down to seal the opening. 